How's it going, Instacart shoppers? Or should I refer to us as what we actually are? broke. With this new update, it's been pretty rough, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of people just aren't seeing batches anymore. It's been hard to, like, just use Instacart, like, full-time. You have to, like, multi-app just to make the money that you used to make, if you even get close. And because of these struggles, a lot of people have been tempted to use bots, and a lot of people have been using bots, and the people that sell these bots are just racking in the money right now because everyone is freaking out because they're not seeing orders so they're they're going to the dark side and going to these hackers and um, getting these programs installed into their phone so today we're going to be looking at some of these comments that are on my channel if you guys have been subscribed for some time you'll see these comments almost every single video people promoting their instagram so that they can sell you this bot we're also going to be watching a video on how they work just in case you guys haven't seen what they do and this isn't to promote bots whatsoever, it's actually to do the opposite. Using these bots is a contract violation and can get you deactivated pretty fast. So I really don't suggest using bots and people like me are being hurt by the people that do use bots. All right, so without any further ado, let's take a look at one of these comments real fast. So this is how they get customers. And um, if you guys look, their username is basically what's promoting themselves. So they just like leave a, three to two comments every time, copy and paste, and they uh, they do that to get past the spam filter, and then they just hope that people click on them because their comment is so nice, or maybe they're talking about, oh, I used to never get batches, but now I do thanks to this guy on Instagram. So that's how they get you. Basically, you guys contact them on Instagram, and they are gonna help you get this bot. This really only works on Android phones too, so if you guys are using an Apple phone, then Good for you, you guys can't even use them. So those are the comments, but I had a comment recently that was very interesting and um, kinda weird, and uh, you'll see what I mean in a second. All right, so this is the video that we're gonna be looking at today. It is the best explanation on how these work. We're not gonna be able to just watch it straight through because copyright exists, but we'll go segment by segment and take a look at it. Plus this person's probably gonna be mad and try and like copyright this, so. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and expose this dude called Instacart Tips. Um, if you guys feel like it, you guys could look at this and read it all, but I'm not even going to bother. Basically, this is what we're going to be talking about in the video anyways. So the video starts off with him and his Tesla. He's wearing a face mask. His voice has changed. Anything that can relate to him is blurred out. So there's no information on this guy. Obviously, he knows what he's doing is uh, not okay, and he probably could get like sued if people found out who he was. Instacart probably wouldn't be too happy if they knew that he was promoting these things. He also mentions that he was able to get this Tesla because of Instacart. He, all right, so, so yeah, you literally put the price in right here, and this is injecting code into the Instacart app. So I'm pretty sure you have to have a rooted Android phone to even do this. So this is how you choose what orders you guys want it to be swiping. So he put, he wants 45 in as the minimum, and um, like what type of order, the store address, and then how many miles you wanna drive in units. And basically it will just automatically swipe anything that fits that criteria. And it refreshes automatically for you, which is something that he promotes. He acts like it's a safety thing, so he doesn't have to hold his phone like this. He could just set it down and it'll swipe it for you. So yeah, you shouldn't be swiping on the road anyways. Um, and that's a really cool feature that I wanted for it to do. So yeah, you can kind of see it working in action there, and we're gonna try and find the bot actually swiping in order for him. And right here, you guys can kind of see the code that it is using. So it starts the script, launches. Okay, so I grabbed that order. And as you guys could see, that's how fast it swipes. If you guys are relying on yourself to swipe, you guys don't stand a chance against these bots, which is why it's so unfortunate and why Instacart really needs a crackdown on these things because it is affecting veteran shoppers like us. So right now I'm gonna put for another $40 one. So let's see what happens. So right now I'm searching for any batch above 40. So yeah, that is the bot in action. So yes, you're gonna probably be able to make some more money with this, but long-term you're probably gonna get deactivated and then not be able to work for Instacart anymore. And to me, that's just not worth it. And I actually commented back and forth with this guy and um, basically he says it's a competitive market and uh, it's what you have to do to make money. And yes, it is competitive, but whenever you guys do this, it's, it's no longer competitive at all. It's like entering God mode. It's 
it's unfair to the people that are using the system correctly and it's hurting us and Instacart needs to back us up and kick people that are doing this type of stuff. This guy's acting like he's not the seller of this bot, but he has to be. He, he wouldn't be promoting it this hard in his video and in his comment section and all that. Oh, his comment section's now turned off, so that's cool. You have to keep in mind that these guys are trying to make money on you. They're using these awful Instacart circumstances to help sell their bots, to try and convince you to actually go through with finally using a bot and getting yourself into some trouble. And um, they don't really care if you get in trouble or not because they just want the money. So yeah, Instacart bots, everyone. Please don't use them. It's not a good idea. As you guys could probably tell, I'm not a big fan. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys slap that like button down below. Consider subscribing for more content like this, and I'll see you guys on the next video.